Ever wonder how some hackers just vanish? No IP, no trace, no clue who they are? The normal internet you use every day, that's just the surface. But deep down, there's a whole different world called the dark web. And the gateway to that world, it's called Tor. This is what real hackers use when they want to stay invisible. When they're doing stuff that no one should trace. Leaking data, accessing hidden markets, sending commands to malware, and still staying off the radar. But how do they do it? How do hackers stay anonymous for years, operating in the shadows, pulling off frauds, leaking data, and never getting caught? In this video, I'm going to break it all down. The tools, the techniques, the mindset, everything. We're going deep into the shadows of the internet to uncover how hackers use Tor, not just to browse, but to completely disappear. Tor isn't just a browser, it's a gateway. Hackers use it to slip into the dark web to control malware across continents, to leak sensitive data without ever revealing their identity. And the wild part? Most of them do it in plain sight, yet no one can trace them. Why? Because they've mastered the art of digital invisibility. In today's video, we're not just scratching the surface. We'll peel back the layers of this underground world, showing you exactly how it's done. And now, we're gonna sneak into five insane topics that will take you step by step into the hacker's cloak of invisibility. What is Tor? Why hackers use Tor? Tools hackers combine with Tor. Dark stuff on the dark web for hackers. How hackers stay invisible for years. Disclaimer, this video is for educational purposes only. Accessing the dark web or using tools like Tor should be done responsibly. We do not promote or support any illegal activity. Number one, what is Tor? Tor stands for the onion router a special network that routes your internet traffic through multiple encrypted layers. Think of it like bouncing your signal through several secret tunnels, entry node, middle node, and exit node, making it almost impossible to trace where the traffic originally came from. Hackers use it because it hides their IP, encrypts traffic, and lets them access .onion sites on the dark web, which aren't available on the normal internet. Now gets our hand dirty. Fire up Kali Linux and open new terminal. Make yourself sudo and update your system first. It takes time, like a real dopamine hit. The longer the grind, the sweeter the reward. Now it's time to install Tor Browser Launcher using this command. It will take time to download dependencies. Now our Tor Browser Launcher has been installed. Now we're going to launch it. Use this launcher command and launch Tor Browser from the terminal. It will download and verify the browser. Once done, Tor Browser will open and boom. Once you launch the Tor Browser, you're basically a ghost. Your IP, gone. Now you can explore those dot .onion sites. Even slide into those dark corners of the web. Yeah, even the weird stuff. But remember, this ain't your clean little Chrome browser. It's the wild side of the internet. So now you've got Tor up and running. Let's move to our second topic, number two. Why hackers use Tor? Hackers don't just use Tor for privacy. They use it for power. In their world, being seen means being vulnerable. Tor gives them something every hacker craves. It's invisibility. It routes their connection through layers of encrypted nodes, like a digital maze, making it nearly impossible to track where anything came from. Your traffic hits one node, bounces to another, then another. By the time it reaches the destination, your real IP is gone like you never existed. But this isn't just about browsing in secret. Hackers use Tor to access the underground, dark web marketplaces, invite-only hacking forums, exploit exchanges, and data leaks that never make it to the surface. We're talking about places where zero-day vulnerabilities are sold, ransomware kits are traded like weapons, and credentials of millions are up for grabs. And they don't stop there. Tor is also used to run hidden servers, C2 infrastructures that control infected machines silently. They can deploy malware, exfiltrate data, or take down systems, all while hiding behind onion addresses that never reveal their location. You see, in the hacker's game, your first mistake is being visible. That's why Tor isn't just a browser. It's a digital escape route, a weapon, and a mask all in one. It's how they move through the dark and strike while the world keeps scrolling TikTok blind to what's really going on underneath. Number three, tools hackers combine with Tor. Tor is just the beginning. The real power comes when hackers layer it with other tools to become ghosts. First, there's Tails OS, a live boot operating system that leaves no digital footprint. Shut it down 
and it's like you were never there. Every connection is forced through Tor, and RAM wipes clean after every session. Then there's Wanix, a hardcore setup that splits your system into two virtual machines. One connects to Tor, the other handles your work. This isolates your identity and makes de-anonymization nearly impossible, even if one layer breaks. Now, real stealth kicks in with a VPN plus Tor combo. Some hackers use VPN before using Tor to hide Tor usage from their ISP and add another layer between them and the entry node. Others go Tor before VPN to encrypt even the exit traffic. It depends on the operation, but either way, it's all about stacking privacy layers like armor. For communication, they use PGP, called Pretty Good Privacy, to encrypt emails and messages. No plain text, no leaks. They often talk through secure email providers like ProtonMail, or even drop messages via Ricochet, a Tor-based messenger with no central server. And if money is involved, it's usually done in Monero, a privacy coin that's nearly impossible to trace, unlike Bitcoin. Hackers also use tools like OnionShare, a stealthy way to share files over the Tor network without leaving a trace. No cloud, no logs, no middleman. Just a private .onion link that vanishes the moment it's done. Whether it's leaking data, passing malware, or trading exploits, it's silent, encrypted, and untouchable. Number 4. Dark stuff on the dark web for hackers. The dark web isn't just some creepy rumor. It's real, and it's deep. Hidden behind .onion addresses and only accessible through Tor, it's where hackers move in silence. This is their underground world. No rules, no names, just raw information, power, and digital crime. Hackers use the dark web to buy and sell stolen data. Credit card dumps, hacked databases, login credentials from massive breaches. They trade zero-day exploits, sell custom malware, and even offer hacking as a service gigs, where you can pay someone to break into a system for you. Need botnets? You'll find massive networks of infected devices for rent. Want to dump stolen documents? You got whistleblower platforms like SecureDrop. Some hackers set up forums and encrypted marketplaces where they share tools, scripts, techniques. No usernames, no logins, just PGP keys and reputation scores. It's also used for controlling ransomware operations, from negotiating payments to leaking data when victims don't pay. Number 5. How hackers stay invisible for years. The smartest hackers don't just hide. They disappear completely. No real name, no real IP, no digital fingerprint. They build layers of deception and every layer is built to break tracking systems. It starts with compartmentalization. They never mix identities, devices, or purposes. One laptop, one SIM, one purpose. Each operation is isolated like a clean lab. If one burns, the rest stay safe. They use Tails OS or Hunix, connected through Tor and multiple VPN, often routed through countries with weak cyber laws. The internet thinks they're in Russia, then Sweden, then maybe offline altogether. They use burner devices, stolen or anonymized phones with spoofed EMEI, and public Wi-Fi networks they never return to. Communication, encrypted with PGP, sent through anonymous proton mail or dark web forums. Transactions paid in Monero, or tumbling Bitcoin through mixers, erasing the money trail completely. They commit click fraud, ad fraud, e-commerce scams, all behind multiple layers of protection. And when it's time to cash out, they use money mules or automated bots to spread the risk, never touching a single dollar themselves. They don't get caught because they think like predators. Patient, calculating, never emotional. And by the time you realize something happened, they're gone. New IP, new laptop, new alias. Like they were never there to begin with. So now you know, Tor isn't just a browser. It's a weapon, a shield, and a doorway to a digital underworld where only the bold survive. Hackers use it to vanish, operate in the shadows, and pull off moves that most people can't even imagine. But remember, with that kind of power comes responsibility. This knowledge can build, protect, or destroy. It all depends on how you use it. If you felt that dark energy, if you learned something new today, if your mindset just leveled up, don't vanish like the hackers. Stay in the loop. Smash that like, drop a comment below, hit subscribe, and turn on that notification bell so you don't miss the next dive into the underground. See you in the next one.